Okay, this is how to read a inch micrometer. Before we start talking about how to read a micrometer, especially an inch micrometer, we want to think in thousandths of an inch. So this is three decimal places. If we just always set our uh, thought process to three decimal places, we'll see that a micrometer will work pretty easily. This is the way that machinists think. So you're going to think of point zero zero one as one or one thousandth. Point zero two zero is twenty thousandths. Point nine would be nine hundred thousandths. Quarter of an inch, you would say, is two fifty. Point three seven five, think of that as seven hundred thirty five. So, how much is a thousandth of an inch anyway? Um, kind of some rules of thumb. If you're thinking of a piece of paper, that's about four of these. Point zero zero four, or four thousandths quarter is about seventy thousandths, point zero seven zero. A pencil, a normal wooden pencil, is about a quarter of an inch. Think of that as two hundred and fifty thousandths. Point two five is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there are two scales to look at on a micrometer, the barrel scale and the thimble scale. We'll look at the barrel scale first. So. So here's the barrel scale up close. Uh, you'll notice that it's got some numbers across here and some tick marks. Now, if an inch micrometer is reading from, say, zero to one inch, then this scale uh, is, well, they're tenths of an inch, but this would be a half an inch. So that's 0 0.5 or 0 0.500. This first main graduation here, the first big division from 0 to 1, this is 0.1. So that's a tenth of an inch, or if we're thinking in thousandths of an inch, that's a hundred. The next big mark is 200, or 0.2, so 0 0.200. But we'll say that is 200, and that will make it easy to keep the decimal place straight. Down here, that's a half an inch, 0.5. Now, if, if this first mark is 0.1, or 100, half of that would be 50, or 0 0.050. So the halfway between 0 and 0 0.1 is 50, or 50 thousandths. Half of that distance would be a quarter. So if you're thinking in terms of thousandths, this would be 100. 25, 50, and then this mark would obviously be 75, 0.075. The main scale, if we want to read these together, is 0.1. Somewhere out here, this would be 0.4 or 425, 0.425. Down here, can you guess what this would be? This would be 0.6. 75 or 675 thousandths. Now, the other scale is the thimble scale, and you'll see that it starts at zero and goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way around to 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and this would be the 25th. So, uh, these are thousandths of an inch. So, if this says 1, this is 1 thousandth, 0 0.001. 5 would be 0 0.005. 17 is 17 thousandths, 0 0.017. Now let's look at a reading on here. This mark that you see there, that tells us that we're at 0 0.3 and then 0 0.325, 0 0.350, and 0.375. So that mark represents 0.375. The reading from the thimble scale is zero. So we don't add anything to the 0.375. And so the reading is 0.375. OK, so here I've taken the micrometer and I have moved it just a little bit back. So we're just a little bit less than 0.375. And the question is, what's the reading now? Well. Uh, 
we, we're not reading from this mark anymore. This mark is not actually showing. Even though you can kind of see it, the fact is that if this mark were to show, it would be a brand new mark, and so the reading on the thimble scale would be a very small reading. And as you can see, we're reading 24, which is almost a completely all the way around. So this is a very high number, so that means we're working off of the older mark, which would be this one. <clears throat> and that mark would read 0 .350. Now, we can uh, get the next decimal place by reading the thimble scale and that will, this one remember, is reading in thousandths of an inch. So this is twenty thousandths, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. This is twenty-four thousandths, so that's point oh two four. So the reading of this micrometer is the point three fifty plus the point oh two four. Think of it as adding three hundred and fifty and twenty-four. You get a reading of point three seven four. Now, on this slide, we can see that we've gone past the zero mark. So we're working off of a brand new number. It's a, a, a brand new mark. It's going to be a small number since it's brand new. Uh, we've, we've moved from point 3, point 0.325, point 0.350, point 0.375, and to that we're going to add point zero zero 0.001. So if I asked you what is 375 plus 1, you'd be able to tell me it's 376. So that's the reading.